evening guys tonight we are doing something a little bit silly i've been packing all day because i'm heading off on a road trip tomorrow and i'm hungry and i thought what we could do is rank all of the mr chips sauces to find out which are the best and which are the worst now if you don't know what mr chips is it's pretty much homegrown Kigali fast food. It's chips, it's chicken, it's burgers, it's pizza. Really, really great little place. And also one of the few places in Kigali that delivers food really quickly. Often in Kigali, it's best not to wait until you're hungry before you order food. But usually with Mr. Chips, it's served up and plated really quickly. So we all really like Mr. Chips. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. It's just a video I've wanted to do for a little while now, since the last time that I ordered a burger and when it asked if I wanted chips it gave me a list of different sauces I could order and there are 11 right so the 11 are garlic mayo ranch uh, or ranch ranch um, mayonnaise ketchup pilly pilly barbecue honey mustard pesto mayo which sounds quite interesting uh, pilly pilly mayo pilly pilly garlic mayo and tartar sauce so there's 11 of them and i just thought well sod it let's get some chips and let's taste them all and rank which one is the best there's a little bit of an added entertainment factor to this because when the sauces arrived they came in little pots and none of them have got labels on them <laughs> so i don't actually know <laughs> what's in each one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to taste them and I'm going to try and guess which sauce it is and then I'm going to rank which one I like the best. It's it's just a silly idea. Let's go do it. Okay guys, so welcome to the floor. I'm sitting here with all of these beautiful little tubs that all look exactly the same. Okay, so this first one, I'm pretty certain that that's honey mustard just by the colour of it. And the smell of it, it smells like honey mustard, but I shall reserve my judgement. Actually, I need to just get up on the screen uh, what all of the options are again. Okay, I think the best thing to do is just to unlid all of these and look at them. Okay. Oh, that's a pink one. It's quite cool. It's pink with bits in it. Mmm, it smells of garlic. I'm thinking that's some kind of garlic mayo. Okay. Oh, that's got to be pilly pilly. That has got to be. It's very, very watery. So I can't tip it, but it's bright red and it smells of chilli. This is another pink one. I'm not entirely sure. It hasn't got any bits in it though, but that's pink. Uh, that's mayo. That's just plain mayo. There's no disguising mayo. Uh, what else got? Oh, yeah, that's ketchup. Again, you can't disguise ketchup or mayo. They're just, you know, they're so ubiquitous that you always know what it is. That looks like tartar sauce to me. If there's nothing else that looks like tartar sauce, that's got to be tartar sauce. Oh, I don't know. That one is brown and runny and this one is red and runny. I think they've both got to be some kind of pilly pilly but I don't know why one's brown and one's red and I can't remember what the sauces are so we'll have to come back to that. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, uh, that could have also have been tartar. I think this one is tartar and that one is some sort of garlic mayo because it, it looks kind of like tartar but it smells really strongly of mayo, uh, garlic, sorry. Oh, um, that's an interesting one. That's kind of like runny and it's got bits in it. Actually, you know what? One of these is ranch and I'm really, really excited to try it because every time that I watch Americans going to a fast food place, they always have ranch, ranch. I don't know if it's ranch or ranch. I think if you're posh, it's ranch and if you're not, it's ranch. So they always have ranch dressing and I don't know what ranch dressing is. Uh, so whichever one of these I cannot identify, that must be ranch dressing. Um, so that could be it. It smells like very, very slightly like cream cheesy chive, if that makes sense. Um, and then this one, a very, very light smell. I'm not entirely sure. It's a bit yellow. 
Okay, right. Time to dig in and try and figure this out. Okay, so my first chip. I'm going in with the brown sauce that I think is probably honey mustard. Let me have a little look at what the options are. Mm. Mm hmm. Honey mustard, gotta be. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Oh, I do like it. It's a bit citrusy. I'm gonna have another chip. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. Okay. This is currently at number one because it's the only sauce I've tried so far. So that's going at the top and everything else will come after that. So this is the pink one with bits in it. Okay, it smells very garlicky. I know what this is. I figured it out. All right. So, You've got mayonnaise, something that looks angry and red, pilly pilly, and the pink one with bits in it. And I reckon this has got to be pilly pilly garlic mayo, because it's clearly got the consistency of mayonnaise, it's got the angry red colour of the pilly pilly, and it smells and tastes really strongly of garlic. So it has got to be the pilly pilly garlic mayo. I like it. I do. Oh. <laughs> mm. I like it. Perfectly good pilly pilly garlic mayo. But does not yet beat the honey mustard. All right. So the next one is the pure pilly pilly. And this is slightly problematic because I don't know how hot it is. But the minute that I've had that, I don't think I'm going to be able to taste anything else. So a sensible woman would leave this until the very last one because she already knows what it is. Um, and yeah, but I'm not very sensible. So I'm going to just, I'm going to have it and see if I can still taste anything afterwards. <laughs> okay, so I've got quite a bit on there. Um, I hope it's not mind-blowingly hot. I think if you don't like spice, <clears throat> that might be a bit too much. But I wouldn't say it's it's terribly bad. It's just, it's nice. The heat is at the very front of the tongue. It doesn't hit the back of your throat. Um, mm. Perfectly fine hot sauce. To me, it tastes quite vinegary and I'm not too sure why. I'm not a massive fan of vinegar and vinaigrettes, so, I'm going to move that a little bit further down the chain. It's not bad. It's perfectly fine. I reckon if you put that on like a, a doner kebab, it would be fantastic. For me, <clears throat> it doesn't kind of scream different. So I'm just going to leave that midway. Right. So this one has got the consistency of mayo. It's got the red of the pilly pilly but it doesn't smell of garlic, therefore it must be the pilly pilly mayo, not the pilly pilly garlic mayo. This is too easy. Yeah. Mm. That's odd. Um, I'm not changing my mind, but it tastes ever so slightly cheesy. There's no reason for that. It's just mayo with pilly pilly. I like that more than the pilly pilly sauce. I'm not sure if I like that or the garlic mayo more. So I'm going to line those up next to each other. And I'll come back to that later. Okay, so this one's just plain mayonnaise. Mm. Perfectly normal mayo. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing special about it. I do like mayo quite a bit, but I like, um, there's a Belgian one that you can get from Tuma 250, which is a citrus uh, mayo one, and it's got such a nice consistency. I like my mayo to have the consistency of Hellman's, which is the one that we usually have in the UK. 
and this just looks ever so slightly gelatinous. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it at all, it's just a particular type of mayonnaise. I don't really have any strong feelings about it one way or the other, so I'm actually going to put this... I'm going to... Mm, it's difficult because I really do like mayo, but I'm going to put it behind the Pilly Pilly, just because I wouldn't say that the Pilly Pilly is particularly special, but at least it's got a kick to it, you know, it's got something that makes you go, ooh, whereas, I don't know, I just find that's very average bland mayo. So next up we've got the uh, ketchup. Now simply by looking at it and the smell of it, I know that that is not Heinz ketchup. I imagine, though I don't know for sure, that this is probably a Kenyan ketchup because you get a lot of ketchup from Kenya and it has a particular slightly, hmm, slightly acidic kind of smell to it. Uh, I don't know how to really describe it. I wish I could like send the smell through to you. Um, like when you first smell it, you don't instantly think tomato, maybe tomato concentrate. Um, but anyway, uh, let's give it a little bit of a taste. Oh, mm. mm. it's nicer than I thought it was going to be. It's actually very, very sweet, a lot sweeter than you're used to having ketchup in the UK. Um, mm, yeah. For me, I would still prefer Heinz, but um, I'm going to put it right there next to the mayo because it's just your staple. If you're having chips, it's your staple. You know, um, mayo, ketchup, sometimes mix it together. Uh, but there's nothing crazy about it. Okay, so next up, I am 99% certain that that's tartar sauce. Um, I mean, what else could it be? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that has me slightly befuddled. Um, Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So in the UK, at restaurants and pubs, you almost always get tartar sauce in a little sachet, um, you know, with your condiments, and you put that next to your fish because you always have tartar sauce with fish. And it's very, very easy to tell what it is because it's got a uniform flavour throughout the whole of the UK. But I'm still convinced that's a tartar sauce, but I feel like it's a homemade version and it's missing the acidity that you would get in the UK. Um, but it's got a stronger herb flavour. I would expect it to be dill, but I feel like there's basil in it. I know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> you can't fool me. Well, you can most of the time, but got it. I know what it is. Hold on. Let me just check my list. It's the pesto mayo. It's the pesto mayo because there's basil in it. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, that's, that's not tartar sauce at all. It's the pesto mayo. Oh, all right. Hmm. How do I feel about that? Pesto and mayo are those two sauces that should ever go together. I love mayo and I really love pesto. I'm not sure that I would put them together. Um, it's not bad, <laughs> but maybe it's not great either. <laughs> I, I think I'd rather just have pesto, but then pesto here is so super expensive um you, you know you see imported jars of pesto with one pound 20 written on the jar and here they're selling for like six seven thousand francs it's crazy how expensive pesto is um so i have to say it's not a bad idea but 
being a fan of both pesto and mayo i wouldn't choose to put those together so i suppose what i'm trying to say i'm slightly disappointed in what that combination produces um do i like it more or less than the pilly pilly that's the question i'm going to put them next to each other and i'm going to come back to it in a minute okay so next up we've got this random watery brown liquid and i'm quite disturbed by it i don't know what it is i'd like to say it's gravy but that isn't one of the options <laughs> so i guess it's not gravy okay this is really watery oh okay um you know i i feel like i'm not too far off when i say gravy because there's something that tastes a little bit beef stock about it i'm just going to keep eating this <laughs> until it tells me what it is what are you who are you tell me what the what is this i have no idea what that is um, right, what are the options? It's not tartar sauce, it's not pili pili garlic mayo, it's not pili pili mayo, we've got all of those. It's not the pesto mayo, because we've just done that. It's, it's not the honey mustard, because that's the other one. Oh! Oh, it's got to be barbecue. Oh. All right. Um, hmm. That's interesting. That is not what I would immediately associate with barbecue sauce. Um, it's too runny. Um, barbecue sauce I would expect to be thick. And again, I'm mostly going by American standards of barbecue sauce, you know, the stuff that you buy down the shop. And it usually has a very, very strong smoky flavor to it. Whereas this tastes a bit like, there's something slightly beef stocky about it maybe, but, Again, it's slightly vinegary, and I know that barbecue sauce is, it does have a bit of vinegar and acidity in it, but I usually expect it to be very uh, smoky, and it hasn't got any of that barbecue smoke that you would expect to taste. Um, mm, I'm not sure I like that very much. I'm not sure I like the consistency too much and it doesn't really have a flavour that I would instantly recognise as being barbecue. It's only through um, a process of elimination that that's what it's got to be. I'm not a huge fan of that one. And the question is, do I like it more or less than our standards of uh, mayo and ketchup? Um, if it was normal, like, thick, smoky barbecue sauce, that would be right up there. I have to say, growing up, I, oh my God, I was such a fan of the McDonald's barbecue sauce. Oh, I, I love what they did with the barbecue sauce. I am usually a fan of barbecue sauce, but that, that to me isn't the barbecue sauce. I'm gonna, I'm actually I'm gonna put it down that way, which surprises me because, you know, if you'd said, do you like barbecue sauce? I'd be like, yes, I love barbecue sauce. Not too sure about that one. Not too sure. I think it's just because I can't quite detect it immediately as being barbecue sauce. It's sort of a, a runny liquid that could be many things. Right, moving on. Okay. Oh, this is garlic mayo. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. Okay. That's garlic mayo. That's garlic mayo with pilly pilly. And that's just mayo with pilly pilly. Okay, I've got it. I've got it sussed. I know what I'm on about now. I, I'm an expert here. Mmm, yeah. garlic mayo. Oh, I like that. Mmm. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to put this up there with the garlic pilly pilly and pilly pilly mayo and i'm gonna have to choose between them at the end it's it's too close to call at the moment i just realized i didn't really rank the pesto mayo i just put it down and forgot about it um i think i put that just above ketchup and mayo right next one. Oh, this is the one that i can't detect by smelling it smells like cream cheese and chives is that what ranch dressing is cream cheese and chives because I've heard the word over and over and I've never tried it because it ranch dressing just isn't a thing in the UK I have no idea what it is 
but I think this by process of elimination probably is it. So again, like the barbecue and the pilly pilly, it is pretty runny, it's drippy. Ooh. Ooh. That is a flavour combination. I was going to say that I haven't really known, but I have. My mum, my mum spent years working in Germany and she used to make these salads at the family gathering uh, that were German salads and um, they had this flavour. I'm not sure what the flavour is exactly, but she used to make it with peas and carrots. But this tastes a bit like cream cheese and chives and I really, really like it. This is nice. Hold on. Um, I'm very runny though. Mmm, mmm, I really like that. Oh yeah, mmm. I have to say, I'm not entirely sure that the best medium for this is chips. I feel like it should go with something else, but I don't know what. Um, I have to think about that, but I assume that that's the ranch and I really like it. I'm gonna put that up with the honey mustard and I'm gonna have to think about that. So now we're down to the final one which has got to be the tartar sauce because like we've done everything else and this has got to be the tartar sauce. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100% that's tartar sauce, but mm, usually the stuff that comes out the sachet is bright white and this is yellow, slightly yellow. Maybe it's got turmeric in it. Mmm, oh, that's nice. Mmm, that tastes like a homemade tartar sauce and a really good one. Um, whereas this one was a homemade barbecue sauce and not so good. But, mmm, yes, yes, I love tartar sauce. Mm, really, you need to have it with fish because fish and tartar sauce are very, very traditional. Um, but... I, I like tartar sauce so much that I can just sit here and scoop it into my mouth using chips. So, mm, it's really good. Oh, it's really, really good. Okay. Hmm. We are tied for first place. Okay. Right. Let me line this up. And then we need to sort out the stragglers. We need to sort out the bits in the middle. Okay, let me just explain what's going on here. So here we've got the barbecue sauce in last place, which really, really surprises me. Then tied, we've got the ketchup and the mayo because they're just really, really standard kind of condiments. There's nothing crazy about that. Then I've got the pesto mayo, which again kind of surprises me because I love mayo and I love pesto, but I didn't think that the combination worked so well. Then here at the midsection, we've got the pili pili sauce. Um, not because I'm a massive fan of it, but because it's really different. You know, it gives you a real kick. You know what it is. Um, and it's not mind blowing that one. It's just, it's, you know, it doesn't take your head off. It's just quite edible. Um, and then up here, we've got two sets of ties. So for second place, it's um, either going to be garlic mayo pili pili mayo or garlic pili pili mayo so I need to test those to figure out whether or not you can overkill the mayo you know whether or not you can put too much in it um, or whether or not putting more things in it makes it better and then for first place we've got a few of the unusual ones uh, the honey mustard which I really like uh, this one I think is the ranch uh, sauce which I have to say is not a thing in the UK but I really enjoyed that and then we've got the tartar sauce which is an absolute classic usually had with fish and I really like that as well so let's clear up any confusion okay guys I'm gonna speed run this I am very quickly going to separate the mayo and the ketchup just on personal preference I am a mayo girl over a ketchup girl I'm not a huge tomato fan so don't mind tomatoes but to me the mayo wins over the ketchup so we've got barbecue ketchup mayo uh pesto mayo uh pili pili sauce so now we've got to figure out we've got to separate these uh mayonnaises up at the top here let's go with a little taste of the garlic mayo as its own its own thing garlic mayo just the garlic mayo oh that's good Garlic mayonnaise, good combination. Mm, I really like that. 
the reddish one, the angry looking one, just the pilly pilly mayo. Okay. That's good as well. Mm. It's good as well, but not as good as the garlic. Garlic is classic. So by combining them all into garlic pilly pilly mayo, does this make it better than the others? Hmm. You know what? This is going to be controversial. I'm going to put the plain garlic mayo above the garlic pilly pilly mayo. No disrespect to garlic pilly pilly mayo. It's also very good. But I feel like just classic garlic and mayo is just such a nice, clean flavour. Very traditional, very recognisable. I'm going to do it that way. So... Um, in third place for the mayos is the pili pili mayo, then it's the garlic pili pili mayo, and then <laughs> it is uh, the plain garlic mayo. Okay, there's no more room on the table. I need to make some space. Hold on a minute. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to figure out the final, final three. <clears throat> First, second and third place. What's it going to be? Uh, right, let's get in there with the honey mustard. Do you like me a bit of honey mustard? That's a big one. Mm. Okay. Controversial take. It's really nice, but I feel like it's slightly too sweet. I, I know that's a hard thing to say. Slightly too sweet, maybe slightly too acidic. Not bad. Right, the ranch dressing, the ranch, ra ranch, 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 ranch dressing. Very liquidy. I have to say that's slightly off-putting to me because I like a sauce that just sticks to the chip and I don't have to worry about sort of getting it all down my, all down my clothes. Uh, oh, that's nice. Mm, it's like cream cheese and chives. I like it. And the final one, the tartar sauce. I feel like tartar sauce is slightly cheating because, like I say, you know, that goes on fish. I mean, you can eat it with chips, but more traditionally, it's the thing that you put on the fish. So I feel like all of these other ones are very, very much chip sauces. Um, but, mmm, mm, that's a good tartar sauce. That's a really good tartar sauce. Damn it. Okay, I've made my decision. Tartar sauce wins it. Tartar sauce wins it, even though it's technically really not a chip sauce. It's a fish fish thing. I mean, it's a fish and chip thing, but um, for a sauce that is not specifically for chips, it's won it. Uh, after that comes the ranch dressing because it just is lovely. It's really, really nice. And I, I'm super excited to have tried it because, you know, as a British person, you hear about it all the time. Um, and it reminds me a little bit, for some weird reason, of my mum's German salads. And um, I have to look that up. What, what is that? I, I know that flavour so well. I'm not sure what it is. And then in third place, just because it's slightly too sweet for me, is the honey mustard one. But again, all three of these are really, really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this slightly random video today. Um, yeah, if you're going to go and get a sauce from Mr. Chips, these are your options. And um, yeah, they're all really good. And it all depends on your personal preference. Uh, but that is my rating. Do you agree or do you disagree? Take the challenge at home and let me know.